A massive announcement as Roman Reigns and The Rock have been made official for Monday Night Raw and the WWE has also announced that it'll be the first hour commercial free. This all indicates something absolutely huge is going to go down. We have to dive into that. Plus, former superstar Stevie Richards, of course of YouTube fame as well, says on Vince Russo's pod that he believes Seth Rollins could turn heel in his night one tag match by attacking Cody Rhodes. We have a lot to break down, so stick around for all of that on this episode of Wrestle Digest. But before we get into the video, we notice that 70% of you guys watching these videos are not subscribed. That's a huge number. So if you guys want a daily home for wrestling news, this is the spot to be. Hit that subscribe button down below. We'd really appreciate it. Casey, let's jump first into what Stevie Richards had to say. Now, of course, Stevie Richards has a wonderful YouTube channel on his own. Go check that out. A uh, lot of breakdowns on a lot of WWE stuff. But he was recently on the Vince Russo pod chatting with some of the guys. And, well, uh, he's branded as coward on it. But they were talking about WrestleMania Night one and of course the tag match the maybe the best build to arguably any match in wrestlemania history but stevie had something interesting to say he said seth could turn on cody in the match and that would gain cody even more sympathy but then he goes in to say that yeah you still have seth the next night against drew mcintyre kc and you don't what do you do then and stevie says well mcintyre's kind of turning face because the crowd loves him now but then you have rollins heel mcintyre face versus Punk, who's in this picture, who's also a face. I don't know. When it comes down to Seth Rollins turning heel on Cody Rhodes night one, I personally don't see a world where it happens because I don't see a proper follow-up story for it. But hey, Triple H, they've, they've conducted a lot of weird stuff that has ended up working out in the last year or so. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Do you think this could work or do you think this is just kind of a, nah, this will never happen? I don't really see it happening personally. Like the only way I could see this happen is if Dean Ambrose is somehow oh, in the picture and the shield, the shield comes back. But I don't think that this this happens. I think uh, you know Seth has had his time as heel, as the Monday Night Messiah, and all this stuff that he had going on during that time. But right now he is a great baby face. He, he's but had a great champion and now having a, a heated feud against Drew McIntyre going into night two, I really can't see a world where he turns heel and they turn Drew babyface just for later down the road, Drew to, to face Punk maybe at Backlash or SummerSlam and both of them being face. It doesn't really make sense. I think Drew is better as a heel uh, anyway. I think he's been great at activating the crowd on the mic with his promo work. Obviously, his in-ring ability is phenomenal and mm -hmm. exceptional. Uh, but to me personally, I don't think Seth turns heel here. I think they're trying to set the future of McIntyre and Punk up as, as a main event of one of these events. Yeah, I, I think I'm on board too. That's been the feud that's been building mostly due to Drew McIntyre's social media shenanigans. Some of the best I've ever seen, mind you. Uh, pretty amazing. And that promo battle they had, right, of course, going one after the other. Um, The only counterpoint I might have is if the WWE sees Seth Rollins' babyface run right now, as getting stale now i don't think it is i i think you see a lot of fans say they believe it is they think oh just seth goofy clothes whatever there he's a great champion but this is but is he really getting stale he gets some of the biggest reactions out of anyone when he comes into any arena of course his theme song is over and you still have those fans that say he's only over because of his theme song i don't believe that i think he gets crazy pops his in-ring work is absolutely phenomenal yeah he's a bit goofy people say he feels like the joker but you can't deny that he has been arguably like maybe not the best of course rock and roads have been amazing but there were moments throughout this build kc where rollins was the star of these promos in ring or you know people said during that press conference he was kind of sitting in the back but he jumped up in recent ones jumping right to the forefront and, and being that go-to guy for these promos so i just i don't see that being the case either so i think that's just one little more piece of evidence why i, I just think this doesn't make sense but hey maybe they're just going to subvert my expectations <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I mean, Monday Night Rollins, man, like it, it's Rollins show. It, it has been. He's the champion over there at Raw. And like you said, he has been a part of this feud. He has also been, you know, in that feud with Punk and Drew McIntyre as well. So he's kind of got his hand in two different bowls here, uh, for lack of a better phrase. So I think Rollins as a face is, is the best Rollins we've seen. Obviously, the Shield Rollins was amazing. I, I was, I'm just biased. I think the yeah. Shield's probably my favorite faction of all time. But uh, I mean, like you said, he, he has developed both stories perfectly here and i think going into night one and just maybe we may see a surprise appearance from somebody uh to help 
you know, Cody finish the story. You know, I think there'll be more than one surprise appearance appearance at WrestleMania, no matter who it is. But hey, there's a lot to talk about before we get to that. But yeah, what do you guys think? You think Seth will turn heel? Neither of us do, but I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who think that he just might. Let's jump into the second thing, though, KC. And of course, Monday Night Raw, April 1st. But no, this isn't uh, an April Fool's joke. Roman Reigns posted to his Instagram story on March 31st, Sunday, Easter Sunday, Monday Night Raw, Roman Rock. Monday, 8, 7 central. And this is huge, right? We know that the first hour of Raw is commercial free and seeing Roman and Rock, and of course, Roman normally being the SmackDown guy heading to Raw means something big is going to go down. And hey, John Cena even uh, made a little post on his Instagram of Roman Reigns. Now, this very well could have a lot to do with the bio that's dropping on A&E about Roman Reigns on television. So maybe it's just Cena supporting him. And C Cena famously loves to post pictures without much context on his Instagram to get the fans riled up. But Casey, this is something huge, right? A lot of people have been talking about how Roman has almost been left in the dust during this feud. It's felt like a one-on-one -on -one Rock versus Cody uh, kind of battle towards WrestleMania. This, this build to a singles match that we don't even know when it's going to happen because it's certainly not going to happen at Mania. There's no way they have 50-odd-year-old Rock having two matches. So I think this is their chance to really... Give the fans what they want with Roman heading into Mania, whether that's a, a feud between him and Rock kind of starting to turn on each other, planting those seeds, or just make Roman really look like the the big dog again, for lack of a better term, heading into this. Well, what do you think this means? Because I think we could take this a million different ways. I mean, something needs to happen here because The Rock has kind of overpowered the head of the table here and kind of inserted himself as the face of WrestleMania this year when it should be Roman. He's main event in the second night, the night that um, uh, for everybody cares about yeah. it is a lack of a better term. Yeah. But, I mean, it, he needs to do something here on Monday tonight to, you know, be be the face, be the head of the table, be the tribal chief. Because right now, the tribal chief and the head of the table is kind of slipping to the rock in this feud. I mean, he left Co Cody bloody last week, and, and he had the Mama Rhodes belt. He's inserted himself, like you said, to make it seem like a solo match uh, between Cody and the rock. So I think Roman needs to come in and clue this up and assert his dominance as the universal champion and just really, you know, kind of take... Uh, rock down a peg because right now it's kind of seeming like uh, Roman Reigns is playing sidekick to the rock which is crazy to say it's it's wild because like you say all this stuff and I, I kind of agree like oh yeah Roman like maybe if they put rock down a peg is yeah, sure but like the way the story has been written like I don't see WWE just doing that just to make Roman look good heading into mania like by all accounts, it seems like the plan is for Cody to win this title. And based on what some superstars are saying, but you never know, I guess. But it feels like that. So if Roman, if like they go out and they do a promo or something and Roman starts putting The Rock down, The Rock's not going to take that too kindly. That on its own will plant a seed. I think no matter what they say, no matter what goes down on Monday Night Raw, you're going to see implications of it at WrestleMania. Now, that's the most generic statement of all time. I mean, obviously, something big's going to happen on The Raw leading into Mania. But, um, but Casey, like just maybe a final note on this. When it comes down to it, how much do you think night one is going to play into that night two match? Because to me, when I'm looking at this, no matter what we see tomorrow, or tonight, I should say, Monday Night Raw, no matter what we see, if it's Roman trying to put Rock down, if it's Rock putting Roman even further down, I think that night one is going to be the culmination of that story between Roman and Rock. Yes, Rock and Cody, of course, is huge too. But that story between Roman and Rock is going to pay huge dividends into that night too. And I think building up a story between these two as we head into WrestleMania this coming weekend, I think could be maybe the more interesting part of this. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you because I think eventually there is going to be a match between The Rock and Roman uh, at some point, whether it's for the head of the table, whether it's to be tribal chief. I think that's what they were trying to set up for this WrestleMania before the fans. Obviously, the We Want Cody, the Finish the Story movement happened. So I think that this will happen at some point. So maybe on night one, maybe we see The Rock maybe go after Roman, turn face again. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a sucker for Hollywood Rock, so Same. I don't want to see it happen. But I I think it will I think it's very much of a possibility that it will happen uh come on Monday or on uh, WrestleMania but like you said I think something's going to happen here on Monday Night Raw to 
try to, you know, build a story between these guys going into night one of WrestleMania. And the, another interesting thing that, that you put up there was the John Cena picture. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe, maybe John Cena comes in to WrestleMania and, and helps Cody finish the story. I think that this is a definitely a possibility we could see too. We have The Rock, one of the most electrifying, the most electrifying man in sports <laughs> entertainment at WrestleMania. Maybe we get John Cena in the mix too. And maybe we see a, an awesome face off between these guys thrice in a lifetime do we no no we don't do that uh but hey there was a not so subtle shot of course during that cody beatdown of that truck trailer with stone cold and john cena on it and triple h loves to do that kind of stuff was it intentional yeah probably does it mean that both will be there at mania not necessarily but i think uh, you know there's there's a non-zero chance that we see both of those there and i think cena well the wrestlemania without john cena what even is that i think we'll see him in some capacity for sure whether it's on cody's side or not who knows what do you guys think let us know down below in the comments tune in into Monday Night Raw tonight. There's going to be a lot of great stuff going down. Hey, come back to this video after it happens and let us know what did. But that'll do it for this episode of Wrestle Digest. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, guys. That's a well over half of you watching these videos. Haven't hit that button, and we have daily wrestling content. I've been your host, Josh Goss, my co-host, KC. We'll catch you in the next one.